to welcome everybody to the Barnesville Sports Arena tonight for the Section 8 AA quarterfinal matchup between the number five seed East Grand Forks Green Wave and the number four seed Barnesville Trojans. Currently doing starting lineups, courtesy of the voice of the Trojans, Brett Inniger tonight. East Grand Forks enters tonight matchup with an overall record of 19 and 7, 11 and 5 Section 8 AA record. On the season, they're averaging 67.2 points per game while giving up 58, so a nice difference there, 9.2 points per game more than what they give up. Barnesville enters tonight's contest with a 17 and 10 overall record, a 12 and 5 Section 8 AA record. And on the season, they're averaging 61.2 points per game while giving up 57.6. We're about ready for the opening tip. Tip's going to be won by East Grand Forks. Vadova has it. Corner. The Madison, her shot no good. Fight for the board. Go to Lexi Haft. Here comes Abby John pushing it up the floor. Sophie Frederick's shot up no good. We're going to get the game's first fall 17 seconds into the game. We'll see who it's on. So that fall was on Kylie Madison, her first, team's first. Frederick to the line for two, first one no good. These two teams met earlier this year, earlier this season I should say because it was last year, it was on December 5th in Barnesville. Free throws good. Uh, I was in Barnesville and Barnesville won 64-44 so don't take anything from that game because these are two different teams right now. Uh, both have grown a lot. You know, both are playing very well right now heading into the playoffs. So I would expect a much different game here tonight. That's Marcotte over there. Gets it across. Madison, her shot. That one's no good. Rebound. Fallingstead. Gets it to John. Trojans want to look to push. And I think that's going to be one of the keys to the game tonight is the pace. Do you want to get out and run? Because I think both teams want to do that. But it's playoff basketball. You know, where possessions are at a premium. So we'll see what kind of adjustments both teams make. And there goes Vadova. Nice shot. Nice take. Nice full court pressure by East Grand Forks. Gray skips it across to Frederick. She'll let one fly. That one's no good. Rebound goes to Vadova. Tatum Vadova. One of the keys of the game to me is the star power. You have Abby John on Barnesville side and Tatum Vadaba on East Grand Forks side. Nice take by Allison Kolbar. Gives the Green Wave a 4-1 lead. 16-29 to play first half. And here's what we talked about. The, what kind of pace? Full court pressure. East Grand Forks try to speed you up. And they're going to get John for a carry. It's a turnover. So East Grand Forks leads 4-1, 16-19 to play first half. And here comes some full court pressure from the Trojans. Easily broken by the Green Wave. Fitzpatrick has it. Gets it to Vadova. Double screen for her. Up top to Madison. Nice screen by Fitzpatrick. Marcotte has it. Near wing defended by Frederick. Screen by Vadova. Marcotte takes it. Kicks a corner. Madison's three. No good. Fight for the boards. One by John. She'll look to push. Good D by Kovar, but a better shot by Abby John. Green Wave lead 4-3, 15-40 to play. Fitzpatrick kicks, kicks excuse me, to Kovar, who gives it to Vadova. Baseline stolen by Kennedy Gray, but she loses out of bounds. So that'll be a 20-second shot clock reset for the Green Wave, our first substitution of the game. Cameron Adams in for the East Grand Forks Green Wave. Ball's inbounded to McAdams, or excuse me, to Adams. Stolen. Abby Johnson will look to push. Tries to take it all the way, and they're going to get a 
foul on the ground. No shot. Be taken out of bounds. So that's Allison Kovar's first, team second. It's your classic box out of bounds play. Baseline out of bounds for the Trojans. Classic pop play for John. Decides against the three. She'll take it in. Kicks it to Fallingstead. Her shot no good. Good defense there by the Green Wave. Bottom let one fly. That one's long. John kicks it ahead to Haft, gets it to Fallingstead. Her layup is good. So here comes that 2-2-1 two, two, full court pressure by the Trojans. Adams back to Vadova. Kovar near corner, drives baseline, no help D. Makes the layup, nice drive by her, recognized. Help side defense was not there. Gray picks it up across half court, gets it across to John. Trojans, nice pass. Little miscommunication there by East Grand Forks. Nobody was guarding Haft. Stolen by Gray. And they're going to get John for a travel. Trojans lead 7-6. 14-17 to play first half. Substitution for the Green Wave is number 14, Taylor Berg. I think another key for tonight is the ability by both teams to play through contact. Because if we know anything about playoff basketball, it's just a little more physical, right? Refs are going to let you play. And there you go. Ellie Marcotte, Johnny on the spot. As I say, play through contact, and she just did. Makes the layup, and now she has a chance to complete the good old-fashioned three-point play. That foul was on number four, Sophie Frederick. That's the Trojans' first team foul of the game. John gets it ahead to Frederick. Over to Gray. Back to Frederick. Drives baseline. Good defense by number 14, Kayla Berg. She deflects it out of bounds. Another substitution. Ella Torvalson into the game. A senior making her first appearance tonight. Falling said to Gray, skipping the ball. Good play. Just a tough pass for Falling said to reel in there. So they drew that up nicely. Just couldn't finish on the pass. Comes that full court pressure again. We'll see how East Grand Forks tries to attack it. Nice pass ahead by Vadova. And that was Taylor Berg's. Her shot attempts blocked. John kicks it corner to Gray to Frederick. She'll let one fly. Three is short. Rebound. We got a scramble there for the ball. Won by the Trojans. Inside to Frederick. Her layup no good. Fight for the board by Fallingstead. And I believe that's going to be Torvalson. Possession will stay with the Trojans. So Gray will inbound for the Trojans. Gets it out to John. Trojans lead, excuse me, Green Wave lead 9-7. That three no good. Fight for the board. Be deflected out of bounds by number 24, Lexi Haft. Here comes some substitutions. Checking in the game for the Trojans. Number 15, Macy Pana. Number 14, Annika Cassette. And number 22, Auburn Hints. We missed one there for, that was Maya Langerud for the Green Wave. Vadova's going to try to take it herself. She'll let one fly. No good. And smart play by Macy Pond over there. She lets the ball go out of bounds. Trojans take possession, trailing 7-9 with 13.05 to play. Hint skips it across the cassette. John will set the Trojans up. Near corner to Cassette, looking inside, nothing there. Pana, back to Cassette. 
Kicks it up top to Fallingstead. 19 seconds on the shot clock. John lets one fly. No good. Fight for the board. Good hustle by number five, Maya Langrud. Here comes Vadova. Nice hesitation move. Langrud has it. A little handoff to number 14, Taylor Berg. She'll drive in. And she'll be fouled. Hintz tried to slide in, but it was too late. So Berg to the line for two. So Hintz is first, team second. Berg to the free throw line, first one no good. Allison Kovar back into the game for the green wave. So Berg attempt her second free throw. That one's good. 10-7 lead for East Grand Forks. Comes a little full court pressure again. John skips it over the top to Fallingstead. Deflected by Green Wave back into John's hand. So lucky bounce there for the Trojans. Good defense by Allison Kovar. That's a fun matchup tonight too. Kovar defending John. And they're going to get Fallingstead with a push off. So it'll be her... First, team's third. Vadova will enter. Deflected out of bounds, so back to the green wave. So here comes that 2-2-1. Two, two, Get it into Berg. Up ahead, stolen by Abby John. Gets it to Pana. And they're going to get her for a travel. She wanted to drive with it, but good defense by Tatum Vadova. She anticipated that and forced that travel. Kovar. And it's be deflected. That was number five. Maya Langrud had it deflected out of bounds by number 14, Annika Cassette. As I said before, refs will let them play. It's playoff basketball. Kovar will bring it up. See what the Green Wave want to do. And that's stolen by Cassette. Get into the hands of Abby John. A crossover. Gets into the paint. Her shot no good. Fight for the rebound. Won by Langerud. As I said, you're seeing a lot. It's just lots of bodies. Lots of contact. They're letting them play. So both teams have to make that adjustment. Good pass by Kovar inside to Langerud. Her shot is up and good. Gets the middle to Pana. Back to Hintz. Trojans break the press. Green Wave lead 12-7. 11-15 to play here first half. Pana defended by Vadova. Corner to Cassette. Up top to Hintz. Cassette will let one fly. Her three is good. Much needed basket by the Trojans. Langrud loses it, but... They will keep it as a jump ball is forced by Annika Cassette. Line change. We got number 22, number 2, and number 15 in. So Kylie Mattson, Cameron Adams, and Ellie Marcotte into the game for the Green Wave. And then Lexi Hafe checking in for the Trojans. As the Green Wave lead 12-10, 10.56 to play. Vadova. Defended by Haft. John gets a hand on it. Madison, good pass to Vadova, but stolen by Hintz. Now it goes into hands of Cassette, just a hot potato there for a second. And we're going to get a fall on East Grand Forks. We'll see what's on. That fall will be on number two, Kylie Madison, so her second. Abby John bring it up for the Trojans. Corner to Cassette. She's already hit one. Thought she might be looking to shoot again. John trying to hit that spin move. And they're going to get her for a travel as she loses her footing. East EGF leads 12-10, 10.32 to play. First half, Kennedy Gray into the game for Macy Pana. Madison in the, in the game still with those two falls, so something to keep an eye on. Gets it ahead. 
loses it. That was number 22, Ellie Marcotte. John's going to look to push. Goes right at Vadova, but good defense by her. Now here comes Tatum Vadova, a full head of steam. Tough to stop. She fights through the contact. No good. Tough rebound by Lexi Haft. She gets it to Abby John. Trojans have to get it across, and they do. Corner to Gray. John defended by Vadova. There's that matchup. 23 on 23. Screen from Haft. Up top to Hints. Back to John. Sides against the shot. That one's good. Nice pull-up jumper there by Abby John. Cassette almost steals it. Tie game, 12-12. 9.38 to play. Falling set into the game. Madison will bring it up. Now she gets it to Vadova. The offense runs through Vadova. Gets it over to Marcotte. Nice screen by Madison. Marcotte drives baseline, nothing there. Torvalson had it and lost it. And looks like she's going to pick up a foul, so we'll see who it's on. Torvalson's first, team's fourth. Haft has it. Gets it across to Gray. Middle to Cassette. So good press break for the Trojans. Haft gives it to Gray. Looking inside, nothing there for Fallingstead. Corner to Haft. Gray. Cassette gets a screen from Gray. She'll try to drive middle. Stolen. Nice read by Torvalson. Reading the eyes of the offensive player. Adams had it. Tries to go inside. That one's stolen by Kennedy Gray. Gets it to Cassette. Sket Cassette skips it across to Hafe. Back to Cassette. And we're going to get a legal screen on Lexi Hafe. Moving. Got to be set. So that'll be Hafe's first, team's fourth. Frederick back into the game for the Trojans. Vadova gets it ahead. Adams. Back to Vadova. Over to Marcotte. Comes a screen. She'll side against it. Nice drive. Fights through the contact and she finishes the layup. Good aggressive play by number 22, Ellie Marcotte. Fights through the contact and has a chance for the three point play. Fall was on Kennedy Gray. Her first, team's fifth. Marcotte to the line. Free throws, nothing but net. Green Wave lead 15-12, 8.25 to play. Adams is defending John. Frederick, guarded by Vadova. And that's going to be a turnover on the Trojans. A little miscommunication. Haft was going to cut. We're going to get our first time out of the game. It's going to be a full timeout by Coach Ryan Bomstead. 8-16 to play. Green Wave lead 15-12. We're going to pull up that Minnesota score feed app as we want to be checking out area section 8 AA games. Perm is hosting Park Rapids tonight. Pelican is hosting Frazee. And then also Monaga is hosting Holly, so we'll see if we can get an updated. Uh, I do have an update from Pelican with six minutes left in the first half. Frazee is leading Pelican 17 to 14. Uh, no update from Monaga and no update from Perm, but we will keep everybody posted as the winner of the Pelican Frazee game would play the winner of Monaga and Holly, and the winner of tonight's game would play the winner of Perm and Park Rapids. Both those games would be at Concordia. with the game with uh, the one seed. So if Perm wins, the winner of this game would play at 6 o'clock next Wednesday. And then the winner of the Pelican and Monaga games would play at 7.45. So you'd have 6 o'clock and 
uh, next Wednesday at Concordia College. So very exciting that the Section 8 AA semifinals and the Section 8 AA finals are moving back to Concordia College. Marcotte's going to drive baseline cutoff by Falling said who skips it to Madison. Corner to Torvalson. Get it to bottom of six seconds on the shot clock. Bottom of his jumper. No good. Deflected by John. Bottom of has her shot blocked. And she's fouled. So good aggressive rebounding there by number 23, Tatum Badova. Was, you know, the first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. So Hafe second, Trojan sixth, Badova to the line for two. First free throw, no good. Hints into the game. So Hafe to the bench with two fouls. Badova has a chance at the second free throw. That one's no good as well. Rebound falling said. John has it, gets it ahead to Frederick. She'll let one fly from three. That one's good. Friendly bounce for Sophie Frederick. Ties the game up at 15s. Nice play by Madison not to travel there. Torvalson's jumper from the baseline, no good. Fight for the board. Blocked there by number 23. Abby John blocked Tatum Vadova. And then a jump ball was forced by Auburn Hintz and Tatum Vadova. You know what, that's just two competitors not let go in that ball there. Nothing malicious by either of those. The two are just girls are playing hard. It's playoff basketball. Gray's going to bring it up, try to beat the press herself. Good defense by Madison. Cuts her off. I think what you can see from this game is just there are good athletes on both, both teams tonight. So... Nice pass, but deflected by number 10, McKaylee Fitzpatrick. Vadova. Now that's over to Adams. Back to Vadova. Vadova's going to drive. And that's going to be an offensive foul. Ava Fallenstead read that beautifully. Slid across. Stayed outside that cylinder. And took a charge from Tatum Vadova. That's Vadova's first, team's fifth. So the next team foul by the Trojans puts the Green Wave in the bonus. And two more fouls, and the Green Wave puts the Trojans in the bonus. 6.53 to play. we got a 15-15 game. This is about what you expected. John's going to let... Oh, I, she beat me to it. Her floater's good. Good read by Abby John. Adams gets it ahead. That's Marcotte. Back to Adams. And they're going to get a blocking foul on the Trojans, number 23, Abby John. So that'll be John's first, team seventh. Cameron Adams in the line for two. That one's good. Substitution for the green wave is number one, Allison Kovar. So Pelican, update from Pelican. Pelican leads 20 to 19 with four minutes to play in the first half. So they've regained the lead against Frazee. Adam's second one is good. John will bring it up. Nice pass, nice finish by Ava Fallingstead. So that falls into going Allison Kovar, her second, team six. Falling said the line to complete the three point play. I have an update. Thank you, Casey. Uh, Nuggets lead the Monaga Braves 12 to 5 with nine minutes to play in the first half. So if you followed Section 8 AA basketball, those two teams met last week, I think. Oh, we got a correction that falls on Fitzpatrick. Not Kovar, but once Ava's free throw is done, so the free throw is good. Gives the Trojans a 2017 lead, but Monaga and Holly played just about a week ago, and that score was 36 to 27. So 
Uh, a low scoring affair the first time around. It looks like it's heading for that same thing again tonight. Nice drive, nice kick. Kovar drives in. That layup's no good. So that was a good baseline drive there by Ellie Marcotte. Forced that help side defense. And then here comes Allison Kovar from the top cutting. Nice read, nice play. Chance for two. And that falls on Kennedy Gray, her second, team's eighth. First free throw is good. Cassette back into the game for the Trojans. Second one is also good by Kobar. Trojans lead 2019, 6.15 to play, first half. That full court pressure again. John drives in, kicks it to Fallingstead. Her layup is good. You gotta help the helper if you're East Grand Fork. So you saw the help side defense come across, stopped you, Abby John from getting to the hole, but no helps, no help the helper, so no one was there to defend Fallingstead. Good full court pressure here by East Grand Forks. It's gonna force a timeout by Coach Ryan Baumstead. And prior to that was a nice block by Abby John. So we'll see if it took, looks like it is a 30 second timeout, so it'll be a short one. So as I said before, the winner of this game will play the winner of Perm and Park Rapids at 6 o'clock on Wednesday at Concordia College. And then the winner of the Pelican Frazee and the Holly Monaga would play at 745 at Concordia. That is new this year because the past couple years it's been in Detroit Lakes or just a neutral site like that. So we are back to Concordia College where it should be. So an interesting East Grand Forks, you know, force that timeout with their full court pressure, but they come out just in some half court defense. So it's always a game within the game, adjustments. So I'll guarantee you, Coach Baum said, just by how the girls came out, was planning, hey, this is how we're gonna beat the press this time, and then they come out not press you. So mind games. Hints drives. We're gonna get a blocking foul on Tatum Badaba. We are her second. Team seven, so hints to the line for the one and one. So hints to the line for one and one. First free throw is good. Trojans lead 23 19, 528 to play. Second free throw on the way. That one's good as well. Biggest lead of the game for the Trojans, 24-19, 5.28 to play. Comes that full court pressure again. Vadova's gonna try to bring it up herself. Now she backs up, good hesitation. Gets across, gets it to Adams. Adams gets it back to Vadova. No one's guarding Vadova. Shot no good, rebound goes to Abby John. But good play by number 22, Ellie Marcotte to force that. Anticipating John to go that way, forces a jump ball. Now the East Grand Forks Green Wave will get a 20 second shot clock in the baseline out of bounds play. So nice play by Marcotte. Adams will let one fly. That one's no good. Hints corrals the rebound. Here comes that full court pressure again. Trojans will push. Frederick near corner to Cassette to John. She'll try to take Marcotte. Fights through some contact. She'll go to the line for two. So Marcotte's first, team's eighth. So both teams have eight fouls. John's first free throw is good. So Berg back into the game, replacing Cameron Adams. John's second free throw is no good. Rebound Vadova. I do have an update from Perm with 439. Nice play by Kovar. 
I like that emotion there from Allison Kovar. She made that layup and she gave a little flex. Uh, for you Barnesville people, that would be similar to how Gannon Ballgreen celebrated his touchdowns. Frederick keeps it alive. And like I said before, this is playoff basketball. You, you, you have to be able to you know, bring that energy, bring that effort. It's win or go home. Frederick's going to let one go from three. That one's good. Trojans lead 28-21, 4.15 to play first half. As I was saying before, I have an update from Perm. Perm leads 25-14 to with 4.37 to play first half over Park Rapids. Radova, she'll try to answer. That one no good. Frederick gets the board. Lots of contact, and they're going to, looks like they'll get, we'll see who it's on. It's going to be Taylor Berg, her first, team's ninth. So John will go to the line, I think, for the one and one I think it was John. Langerud into the game, replacing Marcotte. John's first free throw is good. Trojans lead 29-21. I think Vadova fooled the official there, thinking it was that was only one free throw, and she took it out. But correction by the top official. John's second one is good. So an interesting thing here is that East Grand Forks has all their timeouts still, so that could come into play, you know, be a big thing in the second half when you have all timeouts. And they're going to get number 14, Taylor Berg, for a travel. John will bring it up. Gets it over to Cassette. She'll let one fly from three. No good. Rebound. Goes to Berg and she'll push. Gets it to Langrud. Up top to Vadova. Over to Berg. She'll drive. Take good move. Comes back. Stolen by Cassette. See what she does with it. Gets it ahead to John. John's going to look to attack. But she kicks it out to Frederick. Up top to Cassette. Now they'll get into the offense. Kovar defending John. John loses the handle. Stolen by Torvalson. Vadova gets it over to Berg. Almost slips over to Kovar. Shot fake, drives in. Berg, nice shot fake, drives in. Floater, blocked, no good. Hints corrals the rebound. Skips it ahead, but Torvalson knocks it out of bounds. Good read by Ella Torvalson. You can see some fatigue setting in, I think, with some of these girls out there because what you're seeing is both teams, right? They make a basket. What are they doing? They're coming out in that full court pressure. Played Thursday night, so second game in three days. See if that's a factor in the second half. And like I said, East Grand Forks has all their timeouts. Hints trying to work a move. Cassette drives baseline. Her floater, no good. Kovar gets the rebound. That shot is up, and that shot is no good by number two, Kylie Madison. Here comes John. Vadova has two. She's got to be smart. And John makes the layup. Nice play by her. Trojans lead 32-21. Two and a half minutes to play first half. Vadova will bring it up, defended by Cassette. Vadova skips it over to Kovar. Madison, far corner. Langrud, she's fouled. Much needed basket. Big play by number five, Maya Langrud. Chance for the three point play. Thank you again, Casey Brayton. Uh, Pelican Rapids is up 26 25 at half over Frazee. So, that Frazee, I tell you what, that's a dangerous seven seed. Trojans trying to get a sub in, just a little too late. So Langrud will get a chance to complete the three-point play. And she does. So now Pana will come into the game for the Trojans. John will bring it up. 
defended by Marcotte. Oh, nice pass. And I said, oh, because I didn't know how that pass was going to get through, and it did. So somehow, Abby John got that pass through. A couple hands there, right into the hands of Ava Fallingstead. Uh, Fallingstead to the line for two. That fall was on Langrud, her first, team's tenth. Fallingstead's first free throws, good. Trojans lead 33-24 with 2.03 to play. Second one is good. Trojans lead by 10 with two minutes to play here first half. Langrud will try to get it across. Gets it ahead to Torvalson. Over to Vadova. Good decision by Vadova. Ball instead defending her. Looks to back her down. Good footwork. And they're going to get a reach in fall on that shot. We'll see who it's on. So that fall is going to go on Cassette. Her first, team's 10th. So both teams are in the double bonus now. Out of his first free throw is good. Her third point of the night, and I think that's a key for the Trojans right now to see the score of what it is, is they're holding Vadova in check. Vadova's second free throw, no good. Torvalson wins the battle, but Hintz is going to force that jump ball, which will go with Barnesville. So 140 to play, Trojans lead 34-25. John bringing it up, gets it over to Pana, looking for that back pick maybe for an alley-oop, nothing there. Johnson let one fly, no good. Good box out by Vadova. Vadova will take it herself, defended by Hintz. Torvalson, jumper, that one's good. No hesitation there by Ella Torvalson. Big shot as it cuts it to seven. John looks to take Marcotte. Fights through the contact. And they're going to call a block, much to the dismay of East Grand Forks crowd. So big basket by Abby John. And that's huge because that is Madison's third foul. So John to the line with a chance to complete the three-point play and make it a 10-point lead. That one's good. So we'll see what East Grand Forks does here, trailing by 10 with a minute to go. Depending if they drain this down, you go two for one. A nice aggressive play there by number two, Kylie Madison. And her aggressiveness is going to get her two free throws as she's fouled by the Trojans, number 23, Abby John. That free throw is good. Second one is also good. Some good looking shots there by number two, Kylie Madison. I got an update from Perm at half. Perm leads 34 to 17 over Park Rapids. See what the Trojans do if they could go two for one here. John has it. Crossover on Marcotte to Hintz. Hintz to Cassette. She drives in over to Pana to John. And they're going to get Marcotte. With the foul. So Marcotte second. John to the line for the double bonus. First free throw, no good. Halftime from Monaga. Thank you, Aaron Ellingson. Uh, Holly leads Monaga 24 19. John's second free throw is good, extends that lead back to nine. East Grand Forks can hold for the final shot. And it looks like that's what they'll do. But an interesting, you know, you look down at the bottom part of the bracket. Uh, Pelicans barely beating Frazee at half, so two seed barely beating the seven seed, and then the six seed is beating the three seed currently. So 
That's a tough side of the bracket there with a lot of HOL teams down on that side. Vadova defended by Fallingstead. And then switched over to Hintz, and Hintz deflects it out of bounds with 3.8 seconds to go. So we'll see what the Green Wave do here with 3.8 seconds to play in the first half. They get it into Kovar, defended by John. She drives in, and she makes it. Big basket by number one, Allison Kovar. And she hits that floater and banks it in right at the end of the half. And with that, the Trojans will take a seven point lead into halftime, leading 38 to 31. And we'll see I believe East Grand Forks is going to have the ball to start the second half. So it will be their ball going the opposite direction towards, uh, it would be east. At this time, too, I'm going to give a special shout-out to our scores table, which is official book, Laura Anderson, shot clock, Holly Inniger, game clock, They're moving the game balls up to half. Good job, Claire and Colton. Excuse me, and the game clock is Leslie Shearick, and then PA tonight is Brett Inniger. Thank you, Craig Samuelson. Text me an update. We got two Barnesville alumni officiating the Monaga Holly game. So two of our own, Sam Askegaard and Matt Samuelson. And like I said, Nuggets lead 24-19 at half. And with that, I'm going to set my mic down and run downstairs. We'll be back here in a few minutes.
All right, we're about three minutes and five seconds away from the start of the second half, so Barnes will have the locker room first. And we'll see what adjustments, right? Because basketball is a game of adjustments, so what adjustments these teams are going to make. Uh, you saw both teams, you know, applying that full court pressure uh, continuously, right? And then at the end of that first half, you could see some tired legs from both teams. So do you continue with that? And uh, like I said, East Grand Forks got all timeouts, so they're going to have an opportunity to, uh, you know, catch their breath as Barnes only has three timeouts remaining. So we'll see. And I know East Grand Forks just taking a look at the box score, taking a look at our scoreboard. They got to get Tatum Vadova going. I think that's that's going to be their recipe here for success. And on the Trojans' end, you're seeing some players step up, and I think that's that's the big key here tonight, just because. When you look at Barnslow and you watch the games, you're going to hear the name John and you're going to hear the name Fallingstead. And looking at this uh, box score now and looking at the scoreboard, you're going to see Frederick with seven points. So they're having that third player step up, and, that, and that's the thing. You know, you, you don't want a, just a big one or a big two. You, you got to have a big three, right? Look at the NBA. It's all about the big three. So if you can get that third scorer to step up and you can get your other players just to hit their averages, that, that's a recipe for success, right? So we'll see what both teams are going to do here. But I know I have an update here as the start of the second half. I did get a text just recently. Frazee is currently leading Pelican 30-28. to 28. So we're just going to keep an eye on all these games. Uh, looks like Perm's in control right now to start the second half, up by 17. So we'll just be fast, or switching back and forth. Got to love technology. As I have the computer running, got my phone, and I also have the iPad so we're trying to keep up. Uh, that's a great idea. <laughs> we could totally do that. Uh, Mr. Ellert's recommending that I uh, put a green screen behind myself so you can see me commenting, but it's something we could definitely look at. So it will be East Grand Forks ball to start the half. And update from Pelican. Pelican leads 37, 35 with 10 minutes and 25 seconds to go. Right, about two seconds away as uh, the game clock worker, Leslie Shearks, setting up the next 18 minutes. So here we go. Kovar over to Marcad, who's going to be defended by Frederick. Vadova, far wing, right in front of East Grand Forks' bench. Good screen by number 10. That was Kick McKaylee for Fitzpatrick. Kovar. That one's good. So she ended the half with a big basket. Now she's starting the half with a big basket. She cuts the lead to five. And a big foul as Abby John picks up her third. So decision time. And I think it looks like it's an easy decision for Coach Baum said. Free throw no good. But they're going to get Kovar with a reach in there. They're being a little too aggressive. So it'll be Kovar's second, team's first. So both teams with one team fall 18 seconds into the first or second half. John will bring it up. Gets it over to Haft, near wing to Gray. A little screen by Haft. Gray's going to drive in. Far corner, Frederick. Back to Gray. Her three is good. And she's a shooter for the Barnesville Trojans that can get hot and she can just go off. Hit a couple threes in a row. Someone who has scored over 10 points multiple times this year, and it's all on you know, those kind of games where she gets hot. Good defense there. We'll see. That was off the East Grand Forks screen wave, but I got to give credit to Ellie Marcotta. She forced that. 
good hustle by her to pressure Gray, knock the ball out of her hands, and then ultimately knock it out of bounds. And the Trojans keep possession. Frederick up top to Haft. Gray over to John. And we're going to get a foul. Looks like it's going to be on Allison Kovar, which will be her third. So John and Kovar, the main guards, both with three fouls. John might have got away with a little push off. Corner to Frederick. Frederick drives in. Fights through the contact. And now she'll go to the line for two. So Ellie Marcotte picks up her third foul. So both Marcotte and Kovar have three fouls apiece. East Grand Forks sec or third team foul. Frederick misses the first free throw. Second one is good. Trojans lead 42-33, 16-44 to play. Second half. Kovar kicks it ahead. Madison, that one's in and out. Would have been a big basket for East Grand Forks. John's going to look to push. Tries to take it all the way. Knocked out of her hands by Tatum Vadova. Good play by Vadova. Vadova has two fouls, so something to keep an eye on there as well. As John was trying to get her to pick up her third. Trojans moving the ball around. John, she'll let one fly from three. That one's good. Stolen by Frederick. Her lips, good. So a quick five point burst here by the Trojans. Let's open that lead up to 14. Marcotte gets it across. Kovar, good pass ahead to Fitzpatrick. Nice pass. It's number two, Kylie Madison. It's always nice when that ball doesn't touch the floor and you can just make passes ahead like that. John crosses up Kovar. Basket no good. Vadova's going to look to push. Trojans lead by 12. 15.48 to play. Marcotte. Shot no good. Crowd wanted a foul. Kovar. Another big basket by Allison Kovar. She's the heart and soul right now of the green wave as she's constantly attacking the basket. You know, she, I don't know how many and one opportunities she's had tonight, but it's quite a few. You can tell as a senior, she doesn't want this to be her last game. So Trojans lead by 10. Chance to cut it to nine for Allison Kovar. Kovar's free throw, no good. And that's gonna be a jump ball. Nice play by number 25, Ella Torvalson. But Trojans keep possession. Trojans lead 47-37, 15-31 to play. John, nice pass to Fallingstead. Her layup is good. Comes that full court press again. Torvalson gets it to Vadova. Vadova defended by Haft. Torvalson. Back to Kobar, who's had the hot hand. Shot fake by Madison. Haft tries to knock it out of Vadova's hands, but she's too strong. Vadova loses it. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Up top to Kovar. Nine seconds. Kovar drives in. And she'll go to the line for two. And that's been their best recipe tonight is Allison Kovar just putting her head down, getting a full head of steam, and forcing the foul. So it'll be her, or it'll be Hafe's third, Trojan's third, third team foul, and Kovar to the line for two. Free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good by Kovar. Rebound goes to Lexi Haft. John has it. Looks to push. Kicks it corner to Gray. Sides against the three. John looking inside. Lobs it into Fallingstead. Has her shot blocked, maybe. I think that was number 22, Ellie Marcotte. Hafe's going to drive. Her layup no good. Fight for the board. Won by Sophie Frederick. 
Corner to Haft. Layup is good by Lexi Haft, showing off her athleticism. Full court pressure again by the Trojans. John defending Marcotte. Marcotte's going to drive. Smart play by John there. She does have three fouls. Layup no good. Haft's going to look to push. Corner to Gray. Big shot. That one's good. Sets that, extends that lead to 17. And as we talked about before, Gray is the type of shooter that can get hot. They're going to get a reach-in foul in number four, Sophie Frederick. Update from Pelican. 6.20 to play. Pelican Rapids leads 43-39. So that was Frederick's fourth, team's fourth. Cassette and Pana into the game. Adams into the game. Vadova, far wing, right in front of the East Grand Forks Green Wave bench. Picks up her dribble, defended by Fallingstead. Up top, Marcotte, who's defended by Pana. Comes a screen by Adams. Marcotte gets it over to Vadova. She'll look to drive. Cut off by Fallingstead. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Three by Vadova, no good. Rebound. One by Hintz, who gets it to John, who gets it to Fallingstead. Trojans with their biggest lead of the game, 56-37. And we're going to get a timeout by East Grand Forks. It'll be their first timeout of the game. It's going to be a full one. So Trojans have opened up their biggest lead of the game. At 19, they lead 56-37, 13-15 to play. And I'm keeping an eye on that Pelican score as Pelican leads 45-41. If anybody's got an update on that Holly game, I'd be... Oh, here we go. I see it's 30-24. to Holly leads with 12 minutes to go in the game. Phrase, or Perm is up, excuse me, 13. Unless that's not updated, we'll see, but... Keeping an eye on those games, as I said. The section semifinal, so the winner of this game will play at 6 o'clock on Wednesday, March 6th at Concordia College against the winner of Perman Park Rapids. On the bottom half of the bracket, the winner of Pelican and Frazee plays the winner of Monaga and Holly at 7.45 on Wednesday, March 6th at Concordia College. So... So 12 minutes remain in the second half. Hawley leads, as I said, Monaga 32-24. So they lead by eight. Mark, excuse me, Madison. Gets it over to Vadova. Vadova's looked to back down. Falling said, nice move by her. Showing off her athleticism and beautiful footwork. Trojans lead 56-39. So this is a pivotal point with 12, 13 minutes to play here. Because the Trojans have had their foot on the gas pedal and then something you want to keep, you know, it's all gas, no brakes. That's the Texas Longhorns motto. You don't want to take a deep breath and relax here. So Abby John, as I say that, you know, puts her foot on the gas pedal and drives all the way in and forces a foul. That foul is going to be on Cameron Adams. Her first, team's fourth. John's first free throw is good. Second one on the way. That one's good as Abby yells off, 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 off. It takes a friendly bounce off the rim. Comes that full court pressure. Trojans lead 58-39, 12-48 to play. You know what, why not? Nice play, Cameron Adams. Nobody's going to stop you, just keep going. 58-41, 12-40 to play. John drives in, fights through some contact. Shot no good. Fight for the board. It's going to be a jump ball. And you've seen that a couple times tonight with Tatum Vadova just on those jump balls. She's not willing to let go. And as a coach, you got to love that. She's taken, her and Auburn Hintz have gone to the ground. Now her and Abby John have gone to the ground trying to win the board. You know, when I used to coach basketball, we used to talk about with those 50 50 balls, things like that. You know, you got to pretend your name's on that basketball, right? It doesn't say Spalding. We'll say it's, it, it says Abby, so that's your ball. Don't let anybody take it. 
13 seconds on the shot clock. Nice drive, nice kick. Adams again, can't finish. Rebound goes to Marcotte, kicks it up. Torvalson sides against the three. Adams, top of the key. Far wing to Vadova. 12 on the shot clock. Shot fake, shot no good. See if it's deflected. And they're going to say it was deflected. Stays with the green wave. Six seconds on the shot clock. So that stack on the top elbow there. Corner. Adams, five seconds on the shot clock. Lotto's going to have to let one go here. That one's deflected. Abby John gets it. He's going to look to push. Ahead to Lexi Hay for just a little too much. So turnover Trojans. Green Wave will take over. Trailing by 17 with 11.41 to play. And I, according to my iPad, it is 45-45 in Pelican right now between Frazee and the Pelican Rapids Vikings with 3.26 to play. And as I say that, it looks like Pelican hit a three. So let's say it's 48-45. And turnover on the Green Wave is a double dribble. John will bring it up. Pana, near wing, kicks it over to Cassette. Hints. John, side, she'll take the three. No good. Cassette deflects it to Pana. Pana skips it across to John. Has it knocked out of her hands. And then is fouled on her shot attempt by Ella Torvalson. That'll be Torvalson's second, team's fifth. John to the line for two. Free throw's good. So, I see a 48-48 game over in Pelican between Frazee, the Frazee Hornets and the Pelican Rapids Vikings. John's second free throw's good. 60-41, to 11-07 to play. Madison, she'll let one fly. That one's short. Rebound, though. Hella Torvalson, right place, right time. Back to Madison. Shot fake. Drives. Fights through some contact. Her layup's good. Good aggressive play by her. Hints. Brings it across. Gets it to John. Defended by Adams. John likes to take it all the way. Her layup is good. As I said before, John's got her foot on the gas pedal right now. John again kicks it to Cassette, but they're going to get a double dribble, so turnover. So the Trojans stole it on the inbounds pass and then turned it over themselves. Falling set into the game for John. Kovar back into the game for the Green Wave. And I think if they're going to get back into this, it's going to fall on the back of Allison Kovar. She's had the hot hand tonight. And as I say that, Number five, Maya Langerud with a great finish, fight through that contact. That falls into going Pana, so a chance for a three-point play here for Langerud. Gray into the game for the Trojans. Free throw's good. Cassette will bring it up for the Trojans. Gets it to Haft. Defended by Madison. Haft passes it. Not too sure who. And Vadova looks like she tries to come away with it. But Hintz gets it. Cassette will look to push. Corner to Haft. Who's going to look to attack the basket. Shot short. Fight for the board. It's going to be won by the Trojans as they force a jump ball. You're seeing some toughness there by Langerud, by Vadova. You know, they're not giving up that ball. When they have a chance for the rebound. It's a jump ball. They're, they want to hang on to it. They want it to be theirs. And a great play there by Ava Fallingstead. Gives her a 15th point of the night. And Tata Vadova loses it out of bounds. Turnover, green wave. Trojans lead 64-46, 9.52 to play. Update from Pelican. Frazee leads 50-48 with 2 minutes and 40 seconds to play. 
So the seven-seeded Hornets lead the two-seeded, and that's going to be a travel on Lexi Haft. Update again from Inaga. Thank you, Craig. Nuggets lead 35-24 with 9.20 to play. The fighting Bill Gottenbergs are leading the Braves 35-24 with 9.20 to play. Cassette, turnover East Grand Forks. Here come the Trojans. Back to Gray. Gray looking to get rid of the ball. Back to Cassette. Dribble handoff to Haft. Haft defended by Vadova. Gets it over to Cassette. That's going to be a moving screen on Lexi Haft. Her second moving screen, correct me if I'm wrong, of the night. You've got to get your feet set on that screen. So Berg into the game, Fitzpatrick into the game. And Sophie Frederick into the game for the Trojans. So Fitzpatrick gets it to Vadova. Vadova over. Madison. Madison looks to drive. Nice looking shot by Madison. Banks it off the glass. Cuts that lead to 16 with 8.47 to play. John gets it to Gray. Good defense by Vadova. Cuts her off at half court. Gets it back to John. John looks to drive. Cassette skips it to Gray. He's already hit a couple. John, top of the key, 16 seconds on the shot clock. So you may be seeing a little slower and methodical play here by the Trojans. Cassette's going to let one fly. No good. Fight for the board. And they're going to get a foul on that rebound on Ava Fallingstead. Maybe a push in the back. And that's what it looks like it is. So Fallingstead's second. Team seventh. So just what Coach Bronson didn't want. With 8.20 to play, Green Waver shooting free throws, and this is an easy way to get back into that game. So Fitzpatrick to the line. So Fitzpatrick to the line for the one and one. First free throw, no good. Rebound, fall instead. John will bring it up. A little handoff, a little weave play to Hints. Back to Hints. Hints. Nice move by Auburn Hints. Marcotte, handoff to Madison. And I apologize if you see like I'm not saying anything. I'm uh, currently streaming the Pelican Frazee game right now, and it's 50 50 with a minute 12 left. Frazee has the ball. It'll be a turnover in the green wave. Trojans will take possession. Cassette into the game for the Trojans. Gray will bring it up for the Trojans. Trojans leading by 18. Cassette near wing. John up top, defended by Marcotte. Kicks it over to Gray. Trojans will keep possession here. Gray will inbound. Deflected. Turnover Trojans to get it ahead to Vadova. Gets it over. Number 14, Taylor Berg, and that's a good layup by her. Cuts that lead to 16 with seven minutes to play. Lots of game time left here. And as we said, Green Waver shooting free throws. So John has it, top of the key. Looking for a screen from Fallingstead. Sides against it. Hints. It over to Cassette. John. 
Nine on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock. John's going to look to bring it in. They're going to get a reach in. See if it's, it is on the shot. So John to the line for two. That fall was on Ellie Marcotte. Her fourth, team six. So next team fall by the Green Wave. Trojans will be shooting free throws. So John's first free throw is good. 40 seconds to play in Pelican. It is 50-50. Tie game. And Frazee is inbounding the ball here on the sideline. I can't see the shot clock, but John's second free throw, no good. Oh, and that's a tough play there as we're going to hope she's okay. Number 14, Taylor Berg, as she got undercut on that rebound and fell right on her back. And uh, Shout out to our trainer, Shane Siegler. Shane is Johnny on the spot. He is very quick in action. He's uh, well experienced. And him and the head coach are out there right now. Just making sure she's okay. An update from Pelican. Frazee and Pelican are heading to overtime. Uh, Pelican had a couple looks in the last. So we'll, we'll switch it. We'll get it off of the floor there to give the respect uh, to Taylor Berg and to uh, the trainer and the head coach. And now she's, they're helping her up. But Casey, here you go. This is the ability we have with the computer to uh, flip it. So there's 636 to play in the game. Trojans lead 67-50. Uh, Taylor Berg is standing up and she's being assisted off the floor. Uh, by athletic trainer Shane Siegler. And the crowd is giving her, and we'll switch back to that so you guys can see in the far corner as he walks her off the court. So happy to see that she's able to walk off with an assistance. So Cameron Adams into the game for Taylor Berg. Trojans lead 67-50 uh, with, uh, with 6.36 to play. Gray will inbound. Gets it far corner to John. 17 seconds on that shot clock. Inside to Falling said, works a move, and she's followed by number 10, Kaylee Fitzpatrick. Her second, team seventh, so both teams are in the bonus the rest of the way. First one is good by Ava Falling said. Sends that lead to 18. Second one is good. Trojans lead 69 to 50, 622 to play. Vadova has it. Defending by Fallenstead. Drives in. They're gonna get a travel. So a turnover from the green wave. John will bring it up. Trojans lead 69-50, 6.06 to play. John's going to look to drive. Kicks it over to Fallingstead. Fight through that traffic. And they're going to get Fallingstead for three seconds. Nuggets. Lead Monaga 43 to 27 with 5:30 to play. So big score there. Big Nuggets have opened up that lead to 16 with five and a half minutes to play in Monaga. Madison gets it up top to Adams. Adams has it. Looks inside. Nothing there. Up top to Kovar. 
13 on the shot clock. Good defense by Gray. Adams gets the screen from Vodava. John deflects it out of bounds. So five and a half minutes to play. Six seconds on the shot clock. East Grand Forks is going to inbound. That shot no good. Hits the top of the backboard. John with the board. Some double teams. Triple teams. Trying to get the ball out of Abby John's hand. Falling instead. She'll settle for a floater and she'll take it. Update from Pelican. Two and a half minutes to go in the overtime. Frazee leads 55-52. Vadova drives in. They're going to get Lexi Haft. That'll be her fourth. Or is that her fifth? We'll see. That's her fifth. So she is out of the game with her fifth foul. And that'll put Vadova on the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. East Grand Force will take a timeout. A 30 second timeout. Uh, like I said, last update I had for you from uh, Monaga was 43 27 to five and a half. And then this update, I'm currently watching the Pelican. Um, let's see if I can do this. Actually, I won't even try to put a screen on a screen. Uh, watching the Pelican's live stream. And uh, Frazy is leading 55 52 with 210 to play. And they have the ball. So currently down in that bottom half of the bracket, you have the six seed leading the three seed by about 16 points. And you have the seven seed currently leading the two seed by three. Just a quick shout out as I'm looking at my iPad here uh, for all you LeBron haters out there. LeBron becomes the first player in NBA history to surpass 40,000 career points. So. Unbelievable. Bottom out of the line. First free throw is good. And there's still five minutes in this game, and it's a 20 point game. And five minutes is a long time because we know with fouls, timeouts, free throws, uh, this can take a while. Bottom of a second free throw is good. Trojans lead 71 52, 504 to play. Here comes that full court pressure. East Grand Forks needs to speed the Trojans up here, try to force them into some tough spots, create some turnovers. Hints. Over to Gray. Gray to John. John gets a screen from Gray. Kicks it back to Gray. John. 14 on the shot clock. Inside. Deflected. And then stolen by Adams. Who gets it over to Vadova. And Vadova is going to get called for a foul here. Loose ball, fall. Both girls going for the ball, and she just happened to knock falling set over. Looks like she's okay. So Vadova's third, team's eighth, one and one. Ava Fallenstead. So Fallenstead, the line for a one and one, four and a half minutes to play. First one is good. Update from Pelican. It's 57 57, 48 seconds to play in the game. Frazee has the ball. See you later. Yes, and so we are back live, so I apologize for the technical difficulties, right? We, we always have them, it seems. But we're back at it again. So I got 46-27 score in Managa with three minutes to play. So Holly with the lead, and they're going to get Kovar for the travel. That would have been a big basket. I was thinking it was going to be probably her fifth and one of the night. But turnover. Comes that full court pressure again by the green wave. Near corner to Gray. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Hints gets it up top to John. Inside to Hints. And then a nice play by Ava Fallingstead. Right place, right time. Finds that loose ball. 
Update from Pelican, they're going to double overtime. Langrud trying to take Pana in. They're going to get a foul on the ground. It's a nice aggressive drive by number five, Maya Langrud. She'll go to the line for some free throws. Pana second, team's ninth. Langer the line for the one on one. First one's good. That's Langer's ninth point of the night. Next one will get her into double digit digits. That one's good. Hints will inbound for the Trojans. Good aggressive play. By Kylie Madison, she knocks it out of bounds. 34 seconds on the shot clock. We're going to get a push, a foul on Allison Kovar. Her third, team's ninth, so John to the line for 1-1. That free throw is good. Second one on the way for John. Trojans lead 76 54, 323 to play. Kovar looking to take it. An easy bucket for her. Comes that full court pressure, Pana. John. Breaking the press herself, kicks it over to Pana. Trojans in no rush here, leading by 20 with three minutes to play. Frederick to John. John defended by Kovar. Comes that screen from Hintz. No rush, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Frederick, Hintz. Corner to Frederick, she drives baseline. She's fouled on her shot. See who it's on. So that'll be Maya Langrud's second, team's tenth. So Frederick to the line for two. First one, no good. Second one is good. Trojans lead 77-56. 239 to play. Final from Inaga, Holly wins. 48 to 27. Never count Bill Gottenberg out. The guy has been coaching. I I don't even know if I can put a number on that. I'm I don't know the exact. It's gotta be at least maybe 40 years, close to it, 30, 40 years. He's seen it all. He's experienced it all. Nothing surprises him. And that shot no good by Macy Pana. Badova pushes ahead to Kovar. Her layup no good. Rebound Pana. Gets it to Hintz. And Hintz is going to be fouled by Maya Langerud. Hoping for a jump ball, but they get her for a reach in. So Langaroo's third, double bonus for Auburn Hints. First one is good by Auburn Hints. Update from Pelican, it's 57-57. About two minutes and 40 seconds to play. Frazee has the ball. So Ashley Manival into the game for the Trojans. Second free throw good by Hintz. Trojans lead by 23 with a minute 50 to go. Langer gets it over to Vadova. Vadova shot no good. Deflected out of bounds by Auburn Hintz. So 
East Grand Forks will keep possession, and that's going to be a, take a full timeout by East Grand Forks. With a minute 44 to play, Trojans lead 79-56. Let's see if we can get an update from Perm. I just got a text that Minaga only had one field goal in the last 10 minutes, so I'm going to assume Holly was playing some zone defense. And Holly has some size, so that length in a zone, that can cause some issues. So I'm going to open that Minnesota score feed app. Just another plug for them. Uh, if you don't have it, I recommend you get it. It's easy. Uh, Perm is up 66-42 to 42 with six minutes to go. So Perm well on their way to uh, heading to Concordia College on Wednesday night. And Barnesville is a minute and 44 seconds away from earning a date with the Perm Yellow Jackets at 6 o'clock next Wednesday. And Barnesville, if this is what holds... Barnesville's done something that no team has been able to do this year, and that's beat Perm twice. Um, you know, and I've, I've been a part of, as a player and as a coach, beating a team, th beating a team three times. Uh, it's not easy to do, but it has been done. I've been on both ends of it. I've uh, been beating a team twice, and then lost to them in the playoffs. And then I've also. Nice play by Kylie Madison. She'll go to line for the three-point play. And I've also been on the other side of it where I've beaten a team twice and lost to them. So that's always tough to beat a team three times. You can look at it both ways. So Hadley Pearson, Ella Cassette, Ashley Manival, Annika Cassette, and Sophie Frederick into the game for the Trojans. Madison's free throw, no good. So in interesting, something happened here. Uh, they got a substitution in. Must have been a, they're giving the ball to East Grand Forks under the basket. So 79-58, 1.39 to play. Langerud has it, defended by Cassette. She'll let one fly. The bank is closed. Saturday night. Cassette, crossover by her, gets it ahead to Gray. And let's not forget, this would be the last game on this court for seniors. Hadley Pearson, Kennedy Gray. And that'll be a turnover, so check into the game will be 33, Piper Thompson, and number 10, Bella Snowball. So 113 to play. Trojans lead 79-58. That three is no good. Rebound goes to number five, Hadley Pearson. Hadley Pearson is going to get a chance to get her name in the box score, but she already is because she got that board. So chance to get score some points here. Senior Hadley Pearson in her last game on the home court. That free throw is good. Good free throw by number five, Hadley Pearson. Ella Gerber into the game for the Green Wave. Second free throw, no good. Deflected out of bounds. East Grand Forks will take possession. Kovar will bring it up. Gets it to Madison. She drives in. Nice pull-up jumper. And number two, Kylie Madison. Trojans lead 80 to 60. 42 seconds to play. Manable. Gets it to Cassette, and they're going to get Cassette for travel. So turnover Trojans. 30 seconds left in the game, 35 on the shot clock. One second difference between game and shot. Trojans lead by 20 with 30 seconds to play. 
Gerber with the drive, gets it to Madison. Another nice pull-up jumper by senior Kylie Madison. Her 12th point of the night. Manimal gets it to Thompson. Trojans can just run out the clock. Deflected out of bounds. Trojans will keep possession. Leading 80-62 to 62 with 15.6 seconds remaining. Thompson enters it to Snowball. Trojans can dribble it out. And earn themselves a date, more than likely with the Perm Yellow Jackets next Wednesday, March 9th at 6 o'clock at Concordia College. And that'll do it. The final score from Barnesville. Barnesville Trojans 80, East Grand Forks Green Wave 62. So the Trojans will advance to the Section 8 AA semifinals, as I said before, on Wednesday, March 9th at 6 o'clock against Perm, as Perm has won 75 to 50. So it'll be the, the, the third game between the Perm Yellow Jackets and the Barnesville Trojans. And we have an update from Pelican as I'm watching this. Frazee leads 61-59. We'll see how much time's left on the clock because that game clock is winding down. But we know the six-seeded Holly Nuggets have upset, the, upset excuse me, the three-seed Monaga Braves. So potentially could be looking at the seven-seed versus the six-seed in the bottom half in that sec other Section 8 AA semifinal. So I'll just give you a little play-by-play -play here. Frazee misses the front end. Looks like it's hustled for the rebound. And they're going to call a jump ball. And the possession is going to stay with Frazee. So Frazee leads 61-59. Maybe turn the volume up on that. So the rest of the Section 8 AA games are done. As I said, Perm won 75-50. Holly won big, 43-27. Over Monaga, Barnesville wins 80-62 over the Green Wave. And the final game in Section 8 AA for the night will be the Frazee Pelican game as we're waiting on. So if you're sitting at home, you're listening to me, quit listening to me, uh, flip over to Pelican Rapids' uh, YouTube page and uh, check out the game as Frazee leads by two. I believe with 11 seconds to go. So with that, I'm just going to say thank you to everybody for listening tonight. Uh, appreciate the support throughout the year. This will be our last girls uh, broadcast of the year as the girls have played their last home game. Uh, the boys' playoff brackets will come out tomorrow. So stay tuned for potential home playoff games for the Barnesville boys. And the brackets will be released tomorrow, like I said, once those QRF uh, final rankings are calculated and then released. So uh, once again, appreciate the support. Thank you for supporting students, both from Barnesville here tonight and East Grand Forks. Uh, stay safe, and most importantly, go Trojans.